How's it going YouTube? This is going to be a quick video where I look at a build that I made up for Jean Quay. He is a uh, pretty tanky mage. I would compare him to Hades in that he has some pretty tanky. I think he has a good base health and he also has protections with his uh, passive which w says whenever he um, recalls demons into his demon bag he gets a little bit of protections for each demon he gets. So he is a, a god that you I think you can build pretty tanky and that's what we're actually going to be doing with this build that I, I made up. So we're going to go right into the god builder and we're going to start off and we're actually going to do a pretty unorthodox start. Most people will start a build with like Vampiric Shroud or maybe they might do the tier 1 of Doom Orb and then they might get some, some like Boots 1 or some health pots and mana pots. But we're actually going to do a completely different start for this build. We're going to like super rush the Warlock Sash item. So this is the rank 2 of Warlock Sash and it's called Golden Sash. And you can see it's 1450, so it's pretty expensive. You're not gonna have, you're only gonna have 50 gold after you buy this item when you start. But if you look at the base stats of the item at the top there, it's actually pretty worth it because Vampiric Shroud is gonna give you 20 magical power and 100 health, and it has a good passive on it. But I think Golden Sash is worth it's worth buying, you know, early on in the game, especially if you want to get Warlock Sash online right away. So that's what we're gonna be doing with this build. And then again, because it's so expensive, we're actually just going to be getting um one mana pot i think that's okay you don't really need a health pot in my opinion on jong because of the protections he gets and because he's already pretty tanky i think you can survive early game without the health pots and it's it's weird i mean people like they get nervous that they don't have the, the pots early game because they feel like they need that for the sustain but if you just kind of get if you just get meditation as your your starting relic you'll be completely fine you might not even need the mana potion if you do that so um, it's really about all about how you do it and you can you could survive without meditation as well if you just want to get you know if you need beads or aegis you can get that instead but I think meditation is okay to to kind of accompany this this weaker start with you know only one potion so that's gonna be our start and then after we do that we're gonna go into um, we're gonna finish off the warlock sash so this is gonna get our stacks up real early which is nice um, earlier than any other mage so if you're playing against a, a mage who's doing do more but warlock sash or book of thoth you're going to be getting your stacks up before them so you're hopefully going to be a little bit of be ahead of them especially if you get like an early kill and this item is just going to help him be tankier and it's going to give him that extra mana which is really great so that's like the big focus of this item and um so i think it again it works on john quay the best along with hades because of how tanky he is it's good to have that extra health and it's also an item that can work on almost any mage it's just that doom orb right now seems to be to edge it out a little bit because of how much early damage you can get from doom orb so i mean that's understandable too that doom orb is a little bit more popular um and then <clears throat> after the warlock sash we're going to go into the shoes of the magi uh, i said this before this is i think this is just a much better item than the shoes of focus just because you get the penetration with it and the extra magical power um and then after that we're actually going to go into uh <clears throat> so i was thinking about this i i really wanted to go uh chronos pendant but i i'm thinking i might actually go um gem of isolation so this is another item that's focused on the tankiness and it will give you the extra mana which is nice and the health um, but he also has a slow on his one with the card, so this will help. This will just make that slow even better. And so I think this is actually a good item on Jean Quay. A lot of people, a lot of mages tend to stay away from this item because they see that big health number and they think that this is supposed to be for tanks, which it is, but, um, I think it can be picked up by a lot of mages. It's just, this item doesn't really have a space, um, which is why I was, I was still deciding whether I want to put, um, Chronos Pendant here or Gem of Isolation. I decided to go with Gem of Isolation because it's going to help out um, our last item, which is actually going to be Ethereal Staff. And I want to make sure that the damage output by Ethereal Staff um, is, is as, as big as possible because that's the main reason we're getting it. And so after that, then I think we're going to be going into uh, Chronos Pendant. So we're going to be waiting a little bit. We're going to, we're going to be have to have to wait until our fourth item before getting um, our cooldown reduction. And this is going to be the only cooldown reduction in this this build. So he's not going to get his abilities off as quickly as uh, if it's a full CDR build. But I still think that 20% is good enough. And he gets a good amount of magical power with it as well. So that's going to be our fourth item. And then our fifth item is go actually going to be um, 
I think it could be, so you could go two ways with this. You could get Rav Tehudi, which will give you um, a lot of extra magical power with the passive, or you can go Spear of Desolation. I think I'm going to go Spear of Desolation because um, you get five less magical power and you don't get that pa that awesome passive that Rod has, but you will be able to make up the fact that you don't have full CDR with the passive of Spear, so um, I think that is a good item. And you're going to have the mag magical penetration, which I think with uh, Jean Kuei's ultimate, I think the penetration is very, very important. So that each demon, when it hits a god, actually does as much damage as it can. And then, so that's going to be our uh, fifth item. And then our last item is going to be, um, as I said, Ethereal Staff. So this is going to be just our passive, uh, I mean, our, our power spike. And it's going to make us even tankier so we can ult safely. We can be in the middle of team fights. And we can ult people and we can do pretty well, a good amount of damage with it. And so we're going to look at the, the the builds. And I want to show you the, the power spike that you're going to get from E-Staff. So we're with the with the first five items online, we're going to have 360 power. And then when since we have all this extra health, we have 300 health, um, 550 health, and then um, 950. So we have 950 health extra with this build. So with that with that passive E staff, we're going to build that, and it's going to give us uh, 138 extra magical power. So we're going to be at 468. So that's pretty good. Um, now the original build I had was actually a little bit different um i actually so what i did was instead of having spear i had rob tahuti and if you build that you can see it goes up to 591 so that's um almost 100 extra magical power with that item so it, it depends on what you want you know you're gonna have more magical power but you're not gonna have as much penetration with this build you're going to have a little bit of penetration with the shoes of the magi but other than that you're gonna the penetration is gonna be suffering um so really, it, it depends on what you want to do. If you are okay with taking a little bit less magic power in order to get that penetration, you can kind of change it up depending on what you're building against. If, let's say, they have two tanks on their team and they're building a lot of magical protections, you might want to go with Spear of Desolation. If they don't have that, then you can go Rod of Tehuti and mess up those those squishier um, gods. So I kind of prefer um, the Spear of Desolation start because I do want to be able to do damage to those tankier gods. But uh, I think this this build could work as well. And um, I did want to do one more thing. I wanted, before we go, I wanted to show you the difference. So we said the power with this build um, would be 591. Now, if we took these items out or just, just replace a couple of them, let's say we change this to Doom Orb. Um, this is, so this is going to be like an ordinary build, pretty much. Um, like what a lot of mages are building at the moment. So a lot of people will go do more boots and they might go Chronos Pendant and then into Obsidian Shard. And then they might go like Rob Tahuti and then into like um, Soul Reaver or maybe, I mean, maybe Spear, but usually Soul Reaver is a good one to go after Rod of Tahuti. So if we look at this build, you know, we look at all these items and we might think that this is like a high, you know, it is a, it is a high power build, but we're actually going to be getting almost 30 less or like 20, yeah, 20... I don't even know, remember how much the old damage was. But we're going to be getting a little bit less damage compared to the E Staff build. So not only will the E Staff build have more damage, um, I mean, if you, unless you consider the fact that this, when you build these items, there won't be any stacks built into it. So this is just building the 40 magical power. So if all the stacks are up on Doom Orb, it's actually going to be more like 669 or like even more than that. So we have to consider the stacks on Doom Orb, of course. But, um, Still, you're you're with the E staff build that I just showed you. You're gonna be hit really, really tanky. You're gonna be doing enough damage, and you're you're going to be able to to ult the other team late game and be safe and not have to worry as much about dying. So, um, I think it's a good build, and I think that it definitely works on Zhang. Um, so, if you uh, are a Zhang player, I know there are a lot of you out there. I would definitely recommend you check out this build. If you have a build that you'd like to share in the comments, please do so. I will be posting the this build in the uh the dropbox so you can actually like write it down or, or you know whatever you're, if you're interested in it um if you have any other comments or questions about the channel i definitely love to hear it again I'm, I'm this is a new channel so i'm just trying to to get it going um but other than that i thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a great day